Today I'm going to be looking at NoFap myths. These are all the ones on the screen. So if you think one of these things is making you PMO, then you should stick around. All right, I'm going to go through all of these. I got these from some from myself and some from a dude in my Discord. So I thought I'd just like list them all here and just debunk, completely wreck all of them. So how am I going to do this? I am going to do it using the freedom model and these are all no fat myths stuff that um, no fat makes you believe is true about PMO and like makes you believe that it has the ability to do all of these things or relieve all of these situations when in reality it doesn't and I'm going to explain that to you right here right now all right so it makes me happy or relieves depression when you every time you experience a benefit from pmo pmo is porn masturbation orgasm every time you experience a benefit you experience it right before you do the thing so basically right before you start you load up the video you yourself you make yourself relieve the depression you like allow yourself to be happy because think about it Porn is just a video and masturbation is just um, a physical buzz. So it's not, it doesn't actually, it's not a literal antidepressant. And antidepressants themselves, like they just numb your brain. They just numb your brain activity. They don't actually make you not depressed. They just numb your brain activity. So what actually happens here is that you allow yourself to be happy. Like you could literally do the same thing. Let's say you um oh you're feeling depressed and then you you can literally go outside and be like, oh, when I go outside and take a deep breath and, and like stand in the grass, this relieves my depression. I literally did that this morning. Well not for a depression, but like it makes me happy. When I go outside, I stand in the grass and I just get some sunlight and I get some fresh air. That makes me happy. It's just that right now you think prawn is like PMO is like this really powerful thing where it objectively makes you happy because like someone else might go outside because think about it outside doesn't objectively make me happy breathing in the fresh air because some k person would like what's the what's the uh, disorder can't leave house disorder yeah some people have this agoraphobia. Yeah, some people have this. And like if they go outside and they try to take a deep breath, that's not going to relieve their depression. It's going to make them more stressed. So it's literally you relieving it. And yeah, if I go outside, I make myself, I like allow myself to be happy because of being outside. So PMO doesn't objectively make you happy. You just, you make yourself happy after watching it so in reality because like it's just a video now i can't sleep without doing it this one is like are there nights where you've slept without doing it and it's like of course there is so obviously you can it's just that like it's some it's like you think it allows you to sleep better like when you literally believe it allows you to sleep better and that you can't sleep without it then that's when you can't sleep without it and another reason why you can't sleep without it is because um you see hella value in doing it so let's say um like me personally i don't feel like i can sleep without stretching something this is a new thing that I've formed. It's a new preference I've formed. I can't fall asleep or like I don't want to go to sleep without doing some form of stretching for my muscles. Before I was sleeping without doing the stretches on my muscles and it was like, oh yeah, I can sleep without it. But for some reason, like now I can't sleep without stretching. Does this mean I'm addicted to stretching? Or is it just that I prefer stretching before I go to sleep? You probably just, you just prefer doing it before you go to sleep. And preferences can change. You're not like compelled to do it. Like you literally can't sleep without doing it. It's just that you'd rather not sleep. I mean, you'd rather. Um, 
you'd rather sleep and do it rather than sleep and not do it. So it's all about changing a preference. You just ask yourself, okay, I re- I like doing it, okay? First of all, you need to remove the idea that you're addicted and that addiction exists. Nobody's addicted. Addiction does not exist and all that. But you need to be like, okay, can I be happier just sleeping without doing this? Or if you need to do something, quote unquote, relaxing, it doesn't have to be prawn. It could literally be stretching if you want or reading or just like texting a friend or talking to a family member, whatever it is, drinking a nice cup of tea. Like there's nothing special about PMO. It's it's literally like everything else. It's just that no fap right here, hence why it's no fap myths makes you think it's like super powerful and like has all these special powers when in reality it's just like it's literally normal so right now you just have a preference for doing it before you go to sleep you have to ask yourself and bring out the other option like critically think be like okay can i be happier though without doing it or doing something else that i think is relaxing i could drink tea i could do all these different things and maybe i would be happier doing those and then you do those and you experience it for yourself i can't tell you like oh you will be happier if you do this because you have an experience that you have to you build the preference off of experience just like how the more like when i started stretching before i sleep i used to like do only a hang where like it decompresses your spine just a normal hang on the pull-up bar But now I just do like a whole freaking routine or like I try to do like something around the routine. And I just prefer it now. It's all preference. I'm home alone. This is a big one. I'm home alone. I'm alone in my room. So I have to do it. This is completely false because a lot of the no fap community, they're like, you won't fap if you go outside. So like, just don't be inside your house and um stay outside but then inevitably you have to like go to sleep inside your house you have to come back to your house eventually i used to believe this one this one used to be big so i would like go outside try to um stay outside but like obviously i'm gonna come home and i'm gonna have to be inside the house so you know you just have to question like okay just because i'm home alone does this actually mean i have to like watch prawn and this has to do with triggers if you believe there's things that can trigger an addiction inside you, trigger this monster to start hijacking your body, then that's exactly what's going to quote unquote happen. But in reality, it's just you doing it. Nothing's actually hijacking you. You're just you're just shooting yourself in the foot, basically, by acting like you're hijacked. So being home alone does not trigger you. Triggers don't exist. You you just those are just like imaginary causes for doing the thing which you may have made up or you probably got from this shitty ass thing called nofap and addiction or recovery so nope this is not a reason i'm stressed the only reason you would use pmo when you're stressed is because you think it relieves stress but this is the same thing with the happiness right before you um use the pmo you allow yourself to relax. You allow yourself to relieve the stress. The PMO itself does not relieve the stress. Because, listen, if you were about to, like, like blow the load, imagine if there was... Think of, like, your... um, Think of a horror movie character, like a freaking demon from a horror movie, or it's, like, the fucking grudge. Imagine if that thing was, like, coming over to you, and then you blew the load. Would you be, like, ah, oh, I'm, like... Oh, I'm relaxed, even though this freaking monster is coming over to me. Or would you like still be like fucking panicked because why is this demon running up on me? It's literally like it doesn't relieve stress. You relieve the stress like it doesn't objectively relieve the stress because if it objectively relieved the stress like or like did something to you like a fucking bull tranquilizer, then if a demon was running at you, you would not feel stressed at at one bit if whilst that demon was running at you. But like if you blew the load and there's a fucking killer running at you with a knife, you'll still feel stressed. So PMO does not relieve stress. 
what actually happens is you just allow yourself to relieve the stress. You allow yourself to relax whilst you do it, whilst you quote unquote load up the video, do the deed and blow the load. Like after when you do that, ah, that's not the O doing that to you. You can do that same ah from drinking like oh, um, some water. Or you can do ah after like doing and hitting a nice stretch on a muscle or taking, taking a deep breath. You can get that same stress relief, relaxation, ah, from anything. Sipping a cup of warm tea, cold tea, it doesn't even matter. PMO doesn't relieve stress. Neither does the cold tea or the warm tea or any of those things. It's just you that allow yourself to feel the stress relief. It's you doing it. I'm bored. At most, PMO is just a distraction from boredom. Now, what you have to ask yourself is, is this the best distraction available? Like, do I want the cost of this distraction along with the um, like perceived benefits? Or is there like something I can, not perceived benefits, forget about what I said like three seconds ago, but do I want the cost with this? Or like, is there something else I could do? Because you can relieve boredom by stretching. You can relieve boredom by talking. Last night, upon recording this video, I was just texting on Discord with the boys. These dudes, we were talking about cold approaching. And it was like till 1 a.m. I didn't have to record uh, this morning. But I still ended up recording a video because I just felt like it. And um, yeah, you know, like I could have like... Oh, uh, I could have PMO'd and, you know, it was late at night. I was alone in my room. It was it was really prime time. I could have PMO'd at, and it was late at night too, 1 a.m. I was on my iPad too, reduced white point 90%, but I didn't because it's like I know there's better options and all you have to do is open your mind. You just have to think, is there a better option for me? Like just because I'm bored. Like, can I do something else to relieve that boredom? Like, actually, it doesn't even relieve the boredom. It distracts you from it. Or, you know, sometimes, like, I'd rather sit. Maybe what I would rather sit with the boredom or just, like, fucking, you know, do anything. Like, you could literally do anything else. You don't, it doesn't have to be, like, ultra productive. Like, you're on, like, who self-improvement. It could literally be, like, watch YouTube or something. It doesn't have to be um, PMO. It's a distraction just like everything else. Like when you're bored, you distract yourself from the boredom. When you go on a walk, I'm distracting myself from like being bored in the house. Like it's not some special thing. I saw a hot girl, so I have to do it. Yeah, people think that because they saw some hot girl outside or a cute girl that that means that they must go home and when they go home they're gonna have to fight urges this is completely false like 100 percent false because number one your brain is not like like nothing's wrong with your brain oh fuck hold on what the hell is this sister didn't charge the macbook close this shit out but just because you see a hot girl it does not mean you have to masturbate. Like even if you see them on TikTok or YouTube or Snapchat or Instagram, like you can look at it and be like, oh yes, like it's a hot girl. She looks nice. It would feel nice to like fap to that. But do I have, do I want that experience along with like the cost of it? Do I want the cost of like fapping to this girl and, um, you know, just like using up time? You don't have to want it. Like, you could choose to not pay that cost. And you could see a happier vision in not doing it. If I see, like, let's say I'm on Instagram, all right? I used to do PMO. If I see a bunch of Instagram models on shit on um, Instagram, I'm not going to get triggered to watch prawn. Like, I'm not going to, like, it's not going to happen. If I go outside and I speak to some cute girls, I see some hot girl, I see her butt and I'm like, wow, 
okay, wow, like she looks nice or like a pretty face. Oh yeah, she looks nice. I'm not going to feel obligated to um, come home and fap. This is an imaginary trigger. Triggers are imaginary. Triggers only happen when you believe in addiction. So what you have to do is like understand what the idea of addiction really is. I have some videos on that. Understand what it is. You can read the freedom model for that too. And then realize yourself and be like, huh, I'm doing it. It's me doing it. Like you seeing a hot girl does not make, it's not objectively a cause for you to PMO. It's literally just an imaginary thing. It's a thing. It's a trigger of your making because you believe in this boogeyman called addiction. Next reason, my brain slash dopamine isn't, hasn't healed. So this is one that's been spread around with Hamza. So Hamza says like, oh, when you go into the gym, you have to, uh, you have to progressively overload. So with bad habits, you got to progressively deload. And it's like, I can kind of, like, I can see how this would work, like with the freedom model terms and that knowledge, but He's giving it, he's telling you it in the completely wrong way because he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just like some dude that's just fucking like blabbering his mouth. So people believe like, oh, my brain is like too weak right now and my dopamine isn't healed. So because my dopamine isn't healed, I'll feel more compelled to, I'll feel compelled, like compulsed to use porn and masturbate and orgasm. So I have to wait for my brain and dopamine to heal. But here's the thing, if your dopamine is not healed and apparently dopamine is giving you this compulsion to PMO, then how come like when you use it, you don't just use it again and then 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 again? again? Because like your brain is not healed since this dopamine is controlling you. That means you should feel compelled to use it over and over and over and keep feeling compelled to use it until you literally die but that doesn't happen because you're not controlled by dopamine and your brain like whatever the hell it is like you are always in full control of what you do no nothing like external besides your own thoughts and your own choices and your own like like the options you can see as of right now. You can create new options and be like, okay, so I could not fap if I don't want to, if I'm not willing to pay those costs. And then that's it's that simple. Quitting porn doesn't have to be this healing journey. It's just, it's so simple. Like, like I don't know. If I found out this water bottle was giving me cancer, I would not drink from this water bottle anymore. It's that simple. Because life would be happier without having cancer. And, you know, there's other water bottles I can drink from. So, yeah, you're not compulsed to use prawn from like dopamine or whatever. You're just, you just like using it. That's it. You choose to use it every single time. Nothing makes you use it or nothing makes it more likely that you'll use it. You just choose to use it for reasons. And this right here is a faulty reason. That is a faulty reason. Because it's like based off of the fact that you're not in control. The Freedom Model debunks this. And this is like from like, uh, what is it? Addiction, ideology and all that shit. Now, the last one is PMO is the most pleasurable thing in the world. I'm going to break this down step by step. Porn is just a video there's no objective pleasure in it and masturbation that is an objective pleasure all right but it's not the greatest thing in the world you just hype it up if you were to just do it mindfully right now it would feel good it would feel like a buzz but it's not like it's not what all these nofab youtubers make it out to be or and all that like they make it seem like it's the most like absurd thing in the world like it's like a, it's the highest thing pleasure in the world because you've just spread your seed and you've apparently biologically reproduced and your brain doesn't know like 
you know that you haven't reproduced. And yeah, that's why you don't, that's why you feel bad when you do it. So porn objectively is just a video. No pleasure. If you look at prawn mindfully, you will find that it's just like, there's nothing like insane about it. It's just a video, just like how you have certain genres of the prawn that you like, then like, because if prawn is objectively pleasurable, then why isn't everything you watch pleasurable? Doesn't make sense. It's just preference. You've developed a preference for a certain genre or certain genres. And then like, that's just what you like, but you can not like those things. You can start to look at it and be like, okay, wait, just like I did. This isn't really like the best thing ever. Actually, what I would rather have is a real girl and real interaction. That's just what I would rather have. And it doesn't mean like until I get the real interaction, then I'm going to like I'm going to keep using until I get the real interaction. No, it means like I'd rather have the real interaction. And like this thing doesn't actually have any objective pleasure. So that can go. And um, masturbation, you know, physically, it's like a buzz. It's not the greatest thing in the world, because imagine if like um, Jeepers Creepers was jacking you off. You wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel super hyped and thing, because if you don't know who Jeepers Creepers is, search it up. It's this horror movie, dude. But imagine if Jeepers Creepers was like fucking going ham on your uh, on your private. You wouldn't think it's the most pleasurable thing in the world. You'd be like, fuck, oh, my God, get this thing away from me. Like, sure, you'd have, like, the slight physical buzz, but it wouldn't even, like, you wouldn't even notice it that much because there's a fucking demon in front of you. What actually happens with the pleasure thing is that you expect porn, like, you expect PMO to be this super pleasurable thing before you even use it, before you even, like, seen the thing. You're just like anticipating a great, like, this is going to be awesome. You're just sat there like, oh man, oh, this is going to be fucking awesome. I'm getting really excited. Even though like consciously you're not doing it. That's just like what you're actually no consciously you are doing it. That's just what you're doing. You're like, oh, this is going to be so good. And you're like feeling hyped about it. And you experience the pleasure like before you even find the stuff. So it's all you. You are in control. No fap is is bullshit. Don't listen to anything no fap related. And yeah, the freedom model is the way. Hopefully this video has helped you. If you made it this far, then you know, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Spread the message. Help us spread the message. The freedom model is in the description and yeah, it's free all that good stuff. Join the Discord. You can talk to me. I'm, I like talking to people. And yeah, yeah. Peace out, motherfucker.